So hi friends, so in this video we are going to discuss about uh, Booth's algorithm for unsigned integer multiplication. So in the previous video we have discussed about one example that is multiplicable index is 12 and the multiplier also 12. So in this video we are going to discuss the same process but we are going to see the different example. So in the previous video we have taken both the examples for positive numbers that is a plus 12 and the plus 12. But in this example, what we are going to do? We are going to take one negative number and another number is a positive number. So here multiplicant is the minus 12 and the multiplier is the positive number. So how we, how we are going to do the multiplication between these two numbers, one negative number and one positive number with the help of Booth's algorithm. So already in the previous video, we have discussed uh, for addition, you need to have the regular binary addition but for the subtraction it is a two's complement representation you need to take it then the two's complement after taking two's complement you need to do the subtraction so here the multiple and multiplicant is the negative number so what i'm going to do i'm not i'm going to convert into the positive number okay so for that i need to have the uh, two's complement representation so here what i'm writing so m is equal to minus 12. so so first i'm, I'm going to write the positive value for the 12 so for that I'm just going to use the 8 bit representation to considering the result. Okay, so the 8 bit representation is 0, 0, 0, then 1, 1, 0, 0. So this is the value of 12 that is a positive uh, plus 12. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to convert into the minus 12. So for that, I'm just taking the two's complement representation. So first what I need to do for the two's complement representation, I need to take the negation of each and every bit. So for that, 1, 1, 1, 1. So for the 0, I have written 1. But for the 1, I need to write the 0. So 0, 0, 1, 1. So now after this, taking the negation, I need to add 1 with the negation values. I'm adding 1. So here 1 plus 1 here 0 and the remainder 1 will come here. I'm just adding 1 plus 1 again 0 will come again. I'm the remainder 1. So the 1 will be here then 0 here 1 1 1 and 1. So this is the value of minus 12. So with this value of 12 what I'm going to do I'm going to do the multiplication between multiplicant and the multiplier. So now this is the value of minus 12 then I'm going to do the multiplication between this multiplicant and the multiplier is 0 0 0 then 1 1 0 0 so this is the minus 12 cross plus 12 in the previous video also we have discussed about five different variables so these variables uh, may be used in the Booth's algorithm steps so we are going to see what are the variables so a is the uh, standard variable so that will be initialized as 0 0 0 then the q naught will be taken from the multi multiplier value q. So if the bit is 0, 0, 0, then 1, 1, 0, 0. And here this will be the q naught. And this will be the q1 like this it will come. Then the another variable is q of minus 1. So q of minus 1 also we are going to define as, we are going to initialize as a 0. Then after that multiplicant value, so multiplicant value we already calculated that is 1, 1, 1, 1, then 0, 1, 0, 0. So these are the variable values you need to initialize before starting the Booth's algorithm and count variable. So count variable why count variable is required. The count variable used to count the number of steps. So here I'm going to do the multiplication between these two variables, these two values. So this also 8 bit and this also 8 bit. So 8 bit multiplication I need to do the steps number of steps are 8 uh, number of steps I need to complete in the Booth's algorithm. So initialize the count will be n. So here n value will be 8 for this 8 bit multiplication. So here we are going to discuss the step by step operation in the Booth's algorithm uh, two's complement multiplication. So this is the initial values I have mentioned here that is the a value then q value and the q of minus 1 and the m value and the action table value will be uh, null. So now you just check that. So here in the initial values I need to verify what is the value of q naught and the q of minus 1 and this will be the q naught. 
Okay, so both the values are 0, 0. I need to go and check with the condition number 1. So condition number 1 is 0, 0 and 1, 1. If the both the values are there, I need to do the shift operation alone. That is the arithmetic shift. Okay, so here I am going to do the arithmetic shift. So arithmetic shift means the leftmost bit value need to be sustained. So here 0, so 0 need to be sustained. Okay, so 0, 0, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 0, 0. And this 0 will come here and 0, 0, 0, 0 and this 0 will come here 0, 1, 1 and 0 and this 0 will come here and this 0 will go out. Okay, 0. Now the multiple multiplicand value will be same 1, 1, 1, 1 and 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, so now here this is the shift operation alone. Now the step number 1 has been completed. After this, the second step. In the second step also, after arithmetic shift, I need what I need to verify the Q0 and the Q of minus 1. Okay, the Q and Q of minus 1 both are 0. Again, I need to do the shift operation. That is 0, 0, 0, 0. Then 0, 0, 0, 0. Then the this 0 will come here and 0, 0, 0, 0. Then 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, now this 0 will come here, 0. That is then multiplicand value is 1, 1, 1 then 0, 1, 0, 0. Now this is also shift operation. Now the step number 2 has been completed. Okay, so after step number 2, again I am just verifying that Q0 and the Q of minus 1. So both the values are different. So value Q0 value is 1 and the Q of minus 1 value is 0. So for that I need to go to the second condition. Second condition is 1, 0. If the 1, 0 is there, I need to do the subtraction and the shift operation okay so subtraction what i need to do it i need to perform the subtraction with the help of a is equal to a minus m so here i am just writing the a value a value is 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 0 0 0 then the m value is 1 1 1 then 0 1 0 0 Okay, this I need to take the negation of all these things because I need to perform the two's complement. So 0, 0, 0, 0, then 1, 0, 1, 1. So this is the negation value. Then I need to add 1 here. So 0 and here also 0 and here 1, 1 and here 0, 0, 0, 0. And this is the value of m. So now I need to do the a minus m. So already I have com uh, completed the minus m. I can add it here. So my m value is 0, 0, 0, 0, then 1, 1, 0, 0. Here the value is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, right? This is the value of uh, a is equal to a minus m. So what I am doing here, here I am writing the value of 0, 0, 0, 0, then 1, 1, 0, 0, then the my q value is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, then the 0 multiplicand value is 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 now this is the subtraction so what i did during the subtraction i have taken the m value then i have taken the q's complement representation that i have converted into m now i did the a is equal to a minus m so that has been did it, uh, completed with the two's complement representation so now i did the third step in the initial part for the for the second step what I need to do it again I need to perform the shift operation in third step I need to do the subtraction first and second one I need to do the arithmetic shift so here arithmetic shift 0 is coming inside 0 0 0 and this 0 will come here 0 1 1 0 then again here 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 then 0 1 and this 1 will come here 1 then 1 1 1 1 this is the multiplicand value 1 0 0 and this is the shift operation now this is the third step is completed right after the third step what i need to do again i need to verify what is the q naught value and the q of minus 1 okay so both are same i need to go to the first condition shift operation so 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 1 1 then 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 0 0 0 after that 1 is coming here then 1 1 1 1 this is the multiplicand value 
so here I did the shift operation alone so now this is the fourth step so fourth step is completed so here uh, step number four is completed in the step number four again I need to verify the q0 value and the q1 value q of minus one value so both the values are different so for this condition I need to do the addition and the shift operation so for that I am taking the a value that is 0, 0, 0, 4 zeros, then 0, 0, 1, 1. So after that my m value is 1, 1, 1, 1, then 0, 1, 0, 0, right? For this I need to add, okay, so here 1, 1, 1, then 0 and here 1, 1, 1, 1 and this is my a value after the addition. So I am writing here 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So after that q value is 0, 0, 0, 0 then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So here also 1, that is a q of minus 1 value, the multiplicand value is 1, 1, 1, then 0, 1, 0, 0. So this is the addition. So after this, what I need to do it, I, I need to do the shift operation, that is arithmetic shift. So here the leftmost bit value is 1, so I need to sustain the value, so 1, 1, 1, 1, and this 1 is coming here, 1, then 0, 1, 1, and this 1 is coming here, 1, then 0, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and the 0 is coming here, 0, then 1, 1, 1, this is multiplicand value, okay, so this is the shift operation, here we have completed the step number 6, so in the step number 6 also, we need to verify that, what is the condition of Q0 and the Q of minus 1, Okay, so both the values are 0, so I need to go and check with the first condition, so first condition is 0, 0. So for that I need to do the shift operation, so again I need to perform the shift operation. Okay, so 1, 1, 1, 1 and this one is coming here, 1, 1, 0, 1 and here 1, 1, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and the multiplicand value is 1, 1, 1, 1. Then here 0, 1, 0, 0, right? Here this is the shift operation, right? So now we have completed the step number 6, okay? So here step number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, step number 6. Now step number 7, so for that we need to verify the Q0 and the Q of minus 1. So both the values are 0, I need to do the arithmetic shift. So 1, 1, 1, 1 and this one is coming here, 1, 1, 1, 0 and here 1, 1, 1, 0 then 0, 0, 0, 0 and here 0 the multiplicand value is 1, 1, 1, 1 and 0, 1, 0, 0. See here also we have completed the shift operation. Now the 7 steps are completed. For the 8 bit multiplication we need to perform 8 steps. So now 7 steps are completed. We need to perform only one more step. So here I am just going to do the eighth step so eighth step also I need to perform the shift operation alone so shift operation why shift operation I need to do it so here q0 value is 0 and the q of minus 1 value also 0 so here I am writing that 1 1 1 1 then 1 1 1 1 so the 0 will go to the next place 0 1 1 1 then after that 0 0 0 0 then the 0 will go here 0 then the multiplicand value is 1 1 1 1 then 0 1 0 0 now this is the shift operation now this is the step number 8 okay so now all the steps are completed I need to verify that a and q value for the result so here my result need to be minus 144 because my multiplicand value is minus 12 and the multiplier value is 12 so minus 12 into 12 i need to get the value of minus 144 so here this is the value of minus 144 so how can i say that this is minus 144 here i'm just going to show you that how the minus 144 will come will have this the same value okay so now here the plus 144 value will be like this 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 0 0 
then here 1 0 0 and 1 0 0 0 0 and this is the 16 bit representation because of we are we are multiplying 8 bit 8 bit and then the result will be in the 16 bit format okay and this will be 128 and this will be 16 if you are adding these two values your value will be 144 so now what i'm going to do i'm going to calculate the minus 144 i'm going to take the negation of this one to uh, complete the two's complement representation here 1 1 1 then 1 1 1 then here 0 1 1 0 then 1 1 1 so now this is the negation after that i need to add one here so here 0 0 0 0 and 1 1 1 and 0 and result is 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 right after two's complement representation and this will be minus 144 and this value and this value will be same so now you got the result of minus 144 after completing the eight steps in boots algorithm this is how you need to perform the steps in the boots algorithm also you need to check the conditions based on the conditions you need to perform the operations addition and the subtraction and the arithmetic right shift so all these things if you have completed then finally you can get the answer in the variable value a and the q combination